Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan with a quick tutorial for Nuke and Mocha Pro. Mocha Pro can calibrate an unwarp lens distorted clips, providing render options and exports for both undistorting and distorting based on calibration. In this tutorial, we'll show how to use both the render output from Mocha for undistortion and non destructive workflows in Nuke via ST Maps. Calibration in the Mocha Lens module is fairly straightforward. First, you locate visible lines in the scene using the Locate Lines button, and then, using the new Line tool, join up a series of lines that should be straight. We recommend choosing lines both horizontally and vertically to help define the curve of the lens. As a side note, if you don't have many lines to choose from, it's helpful to shoot or locate a calibration grid with the same lens and use that as your calibration input. Once you have your candidate line selected, you can then choose a calibration type. It helps to know the type of lens you're working with, but it's best to try one parameter distortion first, as this is the most common barrel distortion falling away from a central point. If your lens flattens towards the edges in more of a bell shape or a wave, you may need to use the two parameter distortion. See the user guide for an explanation of the different types. Once you have a calibration type selected, hit Calibrate. You should see new calibration lines conforming to your selected lines. If you see any abnormalities or want to manually change the curve, you can adjust the calibration by changing the float value in the lens parameters. To preview the calibration, you can turn on the grid to see the curve, or click Render to flatten the image. This gives you a quick feedback on whether the image looks correct or if you need to adjust it further. Once you've calibrated the lens, you can track Roto and Render as normal, with the lens data being taken into consideration. If you want to use the calibration externally, however, there's a few more steps depending on what you want to do with the footage. If you're planning to just undistort the lens and not redistort, you can choose to exit the Mocha interface and just render inside Nuke. If you want to undistort, work with the flattened image and then redistort, it's better to use ST Maps. To do this, choose Export Lens Data. By default, the export is set to Distortion Map Clip, which is what we want. You'll notice that the map dimensions are quite large. This is because we want to overscan the result to retain any pixels when we redistort. If we crop the map, we lose information. It's recommended that you export both the Understort ST map and the Distort ST map to the same directory and name them clearly so they're easy to find later. You'll need to re enter the export dialog to export both maps separately. Once we have both maps, we can exit Mocha and return to Nuke. Inside Nuke, rendering a lens distortion with Mocha is very simple. You select Lens Understort and click Render. To use ST maps, there's a little more to do in order to retain the dimensions of the footage. First, let's import both the ST maps into separate read nodes. We then add an ST map node and feed in our source and the rendered Understort map to the ST map input. In order to see the distortion correctly, you'll need to set the UV channel setting to RGB. If we view this, you'll see that the image flattens, but it has weird edge pixels and the size balloons to the dimensions of the ST map. We can address the dimensions by adding a reformat node, matching the format to the original image size, and then setting the resize type to none so the image is cropped rather than squashed. If you want to restore the distortion, you repeat the same process again, this time using the distort ST map into the ST map node and the undistorted output as the source footage. Again, the image will be distorted, so we copy the reformat node to reintroduce the correct dimensions. With this setup, you can now add new elements between the undistorted plate and the redistorted output to have elements curved correctly in the scene. For example, you can track distorted elements in the calibrated scene in Mocha and then export the corrected tracking data. It's important to check on Remove Lens Distortion when you do this in order to avoid any offset. You can then paste in the data to the Nuke node graph, attach the element you want to insert, and merge your tracked element over the top. It will then be redistorted by the ST map further down the pipeline. This workflow gives you a lot of flexibility as you can keep working flat and then restore the distortion at any point. 
As this video was mainly to cover the Nuke side of the workflow, we highly recommend you check out the Essentials training for more detailed videos on how to calibrate lenses. If you have any questions, ask in the comments, or pop over to the forums at borisfx.com.